royal heir. I alone will become the Stratus Emperor. Actions have consequences, John. How many more innocents have to die? Come, shed the blood of the Stratus heir. Fulfill your destiny. Master, you just don't learn. It's not like you can do anything now. You're too late, as usual. None of it matters anymore. You've lost. You let them die. You let me die! None of it matters anymore. You've lost.
I'll reunite you with your students soon enough. <laughs> This is my fault. I spoke out against the Dowager like a petulant child. But I did not act. I was too afraid. My only consolation lies in the fact that together, perhaps we averted complete catastrophe. But I'm not sure. You've lost students. Young people who depended on you. I know that pain. Do not let despair consume you. Prince Subin never was the heir. We must honor the old ways and install Princess Namsoyu to the throne. I will aid that process. I will help rebuild. Know that you always have a place here in the palace. And know that I am sorry for what has happened here. Old friend, may we talk? Warrior, I know you tried. You loved them, and they loved you. Don't forget that. Words are incapable of honoring your loss. Of healing your heart. I wish I had a way to make it better, warrior. You two should join me in Zyway, if only for a while. No one would blame you if returning home sounds hard right now, of course. But I want to tell you something. You ventured through the impossible for these children. You risked your life countless times. And why? Because you had hope. You loved them. I know you may think that you can never forgive yourself. But please remember that we all love you. When you step out of the shadows, we will still be here. Let's Jiansei. go, Junghado. I'm sorry I couldn't be here sooner. My agents and I were trying to track down the Dowager. We assumed she was the greatest threat had I known your students were in danger. Maybe there's nothing we could have done. Even so, I'm sorry. All of us who have served the Stratus Empire are to blame for not stopping its evil sooner. May you and your students find peace. This was not supposed to happen. I... I was not prepared for this. Warrior, I am sorry. I should have come earlier. I should have seen this coming. I... I... This isn't about me. You've suffered a tremendous loss, and so has this little girl. And your pupils. I am so sorry. You still have a chance to say farewell. Please, let me open a dragon pulse. You two deserve peace. And space. Please, use the dragon pulse. Master? Master? I was... I was dreaming. We were all back together after training. Bun Yang was playing a prank on Jinbin again, and Puna was laughing. Why... Why did it end up like this? I miss them. I miss my brothers and sister. I hate this. We were all happy together, but all these terrible people want to hurt everything. I hate them. I know. It's like the Hong Moon teachings say, right? Anger and hatred lead to pain. But I already hurt so much. Ban Yang, Buna, Jinbin, they all died trying to protect us and each other. They're gone, and I never got to say goodbye. We'll pray at the shrine, right? The one you made for the original Hong Moon students in Master Hall? Do you think they'll take care of our family in the afterlife? I hope they do. We're all part of the Hong Moon school, right? It'd be nice to know my siblings aren't alone. Maybe they can still watch over us. I'll go get changed. You should change clothes, too. It's raining. Bun Yang's belongings, the ones we got back from the hideout, they're by the shrine. Let's go, Master. Oh, no. Everything's gotten wet. I'm sorry. I should have kept everything safe. I'm sorry. I hope nothing got ruined. It's all we have left. Is anything broken? Is anything broken? Cho. It's us, your favorite grandchildren, and Jinbin, because he doesn't want to feel left out. Are you eating right? You're staying healthy, right, Grandpa? You should come visit us in heaven. 
heaven's reach. The master is taking very good care of everyone. It feels less like we're a school and more like... We're a family. Master, don't cry. The others would be sad to see us crying. It hurts, but they wouldn't want us to stay sad forever. They were always laughing. We should be grateful for the time we had, shouldn't we? Bonyang, Buna, Jinbin, are you watching over us? <laughs> Do you think they could hear our prayers, Master? I hope so. I'm going to train harder. I want to get stronger so our family can rest without worrying about me. And so I can protect you, too. Master? We should get inside before the rain gets any worse. Okay. I'll make us some tea. Jinbin always made us tea after training to help us feel better. Don't be long, Master! It's so quiet now. It looks like our food store spoiled while we were gone from Heaven's Reach. I've gone down to the village to get some supplies. I can do it by myself, I promise. You should rest, Master. I'll be back before you know it. Master! You're he what is this place? Warrior, we meet again. Ah, just who I wanted to see. I was en route to Heaven's Reach when I sensed a powerful Dark Chi presence in this backwater hamlet. Yes, warrior, this spirit rift is representative of many appearing throughout the Earthen Realm. The new masters will do all we can to close them, but we are outnumbered. I've come to enlist your help. You are one of the few powerful enough to wield my spirit charms. I've brought you plenty. I crafted them myself. They should seal the rifts, at least temporarily. Step aside, warrior, and I will demonstrate. Channel your chi. We must seal these spirit rifts. Thanks for your help. It looks like the fiends have all been handled, and Chundun's charms have closed the rifts, at least for now. Chundun thinks this intrusion is only one of many. Something tells me he's probably right. We think so, yes, but we're not sure where. All we have to go on is Chundun's premonitions, and the old guess-and-check method. Not exactly the best ways to make a plan. The rest of the eight have traveled to population centers across the realm to make sure people are safe. I'll be leaving for Gunwan City shortly. It depends on which part of the city. The Stratus army is strong, but its deployment has always been... selective. If there's an invasion, the people of the Gabang district will be forced to fend for themselves. Which is why I need to go there first. Would you mind joining me, Giance? I could use the help, and I'm not very good at activating these charms. Of course. Well, Chundun will be leaving for Brightstone soon, but maybe your bamboo guard friend can help. Giance, what is all this? One minute, I'm helping Jin so Yun pick groceries, and then the next minute, demons are running through the village! Then, all these warriors run in screaming and shooting lights through the air. They asked me to find you, and... Are these really the Eight Masters? Oh, wow. You sure have made a name for yourself, Giance. And if that little guy hadn't pulled out a charm to close the rift, I don't know what we would do. 
So if these new masters are involved, we must be in trouble. Is there any way I can assist? Just her? Sure. She's quite the little helper, you know that? But, uh, make sure that Lin leaves some charms with us. Those look pretty handy. Jin let's head inside. Master. Please be careful. Ready to go to the Gabang district? Then, I am off to Brightstone. Don't beat me! Thank you, Giance. That thing, it was... well, it was a thing. I'm fine. I just wish we knew why these rifts are opening. What could be behind all this? I hate to ask, but would you mind going to Brightstone? I suspect Chundun is in over his head, though he'd never admit it. I'll make sure the rest of Gunwan City is secure. Thanks, warrior. Those fleeing villagers must have exacerbated the rift. I can't believe it took three charms to seal this. No. Whatever is pushing into our realm is persistent. For now, Brightstone is at peace. I wish I could say the same for the realm. We must find the others. Honorable Jianse, I trust you were able to connect with Ku Yang and Chundun. As soon as your work with the others is finished, please meet me in the Cinderlands. A massive dark rift threatens the Mirage. There are simply too many fiends for one warrior to handle alone. I need your help. A bit of Namdo, but a hint of Southern Mantis. Oh, hello, Giance. Thanks for coming. This woman was here when I arrived. I asked her to go inside, but 
She just smiled and started fighting. That's Lady Yahara. <laughs> right. And who are you then? A ploggle in disguise. Oh, you're serious. I had no idea she was a master of Kung Fu. Her technique is quite beautiful and effective. I can't quite place it. What's that? Oh, right. Uh, yes, we should help. That's why we're here. What a pleasant surprise. After turning away a few unwelcome guests, it's nice to see someone who's always welcome at the Mirage. I know conjuring demons is in vogue nowadays, but this was something else. These rifts opened on their own accord, as if something is drawing the Dark Realm near. I'm afraid I don't know. I've only read of such things in the Naryu tomes. The ancient scholars called it the Keshta Takar, a collision of worlds, but naming a problem does little to solve it. But where are my manners? You and your eclectic friend should come inside. I I'm seem sorry. to be suddenly you short on guests. Come? That was an impressive display, warrior. I sense that we have staunched the last spirit rift. For now. Nevertheless, I have foreseen far worse things on the horizon. Wuxin shared with you his desire to unify the spirit in earthen realms. These rifts may be mere harbingers of his ultimate intentions. It pains me to admit it, warrior, but we lack the power. As long as Mushin is in the spirit realm with the Twilight's Edge, we are at his mercy. Jiansei, I'm glad to see you're well. Know that we're all sorry for your loss, and your curtness is understandable. I suppose we're rarely the bearers of good news for you, given how things have developed. I feel it's time you learned more of Mushin. If you intend to face him, you must know him. You must know what corrupted Mushin, and regrettably, where our blame lies. Perhaps this is karma. Your Highness, we have a report. Our scouts have returned from their rounds. Reports confirm that the barbarous Grimval are keeping Naryu prisoners within their camp. The troops are ready to move out at your command. We will rally to your call immediately. At your command, sir. Hear me, soldiers of the great Naryu Empire. We have fought the invading Grimfall on every front. And now we stand ready to drive them out for good! Their evil will not be tolerated in our great empire! We will crush their ranks, save our captured brethren, to battle, soldiers! To victory!
By royal proclamation, the so-called hero Mushen will stand down. We have down. discovered his scheme to overthrow our emperor. He seeks the crown. Our great empire will not suffer such a villain. Mushen is our enemy. This is treason. Carry out the execution this instant. Accept your punishment. To think we believed you a hero! You seem to have fallen into quite a bit of trouble, Mushin. We three sages have been sent by the Divine Realm. This world is being attacked by forces from the Dark Realm. You will join the ranks of the three, or rather, four, guardians to drive them back. This is a matter far beyond political machinations. You, Mushin, are a true hero. Whatever lies your government sows about you, the heavens know the truth. This is your divine calling. I had a feeling you'd see it that way. But be warned, this is no minor task. The fate of this world hangs in the balance, and I cannot promise you will survive the battle. As a guardian, you must leave behind all earthly attachments. Though, seeing as how your people have already turned their backs on you, yet you may still accomplish great things, Mushin. Thank you, Mushin, for what you've done and for what you now must do. It is unfair to demand that a forsaken son give up even more. I weep for what will become of you. A hero like you deserves a kinder fate. I shall remember you kindly, Mushin. And be it in this realm or another, I pray we will meet again. Please, go on. I can handle myself here. Mushin, the realm won't forget this! Darkchi here. It's overwhelming. I sense the gathering, Darkchi. It has stopped flowing out freely and is consolidating in one place. So I fear. Mushin, do you truly intend to go through with this? Perhaps. But I should be the one to do it. I've lived my life. You are still young, yet you have done so much for this world already. Hmm. You won't be dissuaded, will you? Very well. We must hurry. 
but know how grateful we are to you. There is little time! Oh! about this well about time you got here ready to doom yourself for the greater good like you'd listen you're a stubborn fool still trying to be the hero even after all you've lost and you think you don't matter why are the young so eager to throw their lives away coming up with a plan like this well I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself that easily taking a portion of your power will leave a hollow where the Dark Lord will be anchored but it may also be a tether for your soul to this realm. Hopefully it will be a light in the dark to lead you back to us someday. The sages will know how to keep it safe. Taking your chi will have weakened you. There's not much time. Get moving, brat. And thank you. There's no other way. I'll seal the gate from the inside. Oh, Yura. <laughs> To his merit, Mushin truly was a hero at that time. You two have more in common than I'd like to admit. All the same, this is what brought Mushin to the present day. Everyone knows he sacrificed himself to seal away the Dark Lord. Any of the other three Guardians would have done the same in a heartbeat. Even Ixanon, despite his posturing. We knew that to be fact and could not let it happen. They all meant too much to this world. Too much to us. To the heavens. We could not just stand by and let any of them vanish into the Dark Realm. Yes, Mushin's own peers branded him a traitor, and we saw an opportunity. It was wrong of us, and the Realm has paid for our arrogance. We've taken steps to atone, but the damage has already been done. Now Mushin, driven by his dark motives, has finally made it to the Divine Realm. A fair criticism, I admit. I know you have little reason to trust us. But know that I could have kept it all a secret. You must ascend to the Divine Realm and drag Mushin back out before he can cause further destruction. Nor will we need to. The Divine Mandate was originally performed to recognize a mortal as the rightful Emperor. But it is not the only way to open the Divine Gates. Divine beings like ourselves or the Ascended Guardians can move between the realms in limited measures. But we cannot take others with us. But if you were to use a Divine Relic attuned to that realm, it would be able to guide you there. With your power, surely you could breach the gap. 
Perhaps. But Twilight's Edge is only one of many such relics. Most have been lost to history. Yet some still linger to this day. We have been looking high and low for any traces of these remaining sacred relics. Our best bet would be the Empyrean Citadel, where a past divine mandate was held. That would be the hard part. I'm afraid there is so much dark chi in that distant region that we cannot pierce it. But you may be able to find a way there. We are leave those this men matter who in I your hands. They are? I mean, there's three of them, and they're all very sage-like, but I thought the three sages were just characters in a bedtime story. I see. Now, just so I understand what's going on, these rifts will keep opening unless Mushin is brought back from the Divine Realm? But with the Twilight's Edge gone, the only way to get to Mushin is to find another one of these sacred relics. And there might be one in this equestrian citadel, or whatever you call it. I'll check with the others. Maybe Soha has an old contact that can point us in the right direction. In Solok? Is this that tree woman that I've heard so much about? Well, by all means, Giance, if you think you have a lead, follow it. I'll work with the rest of the new masters to find and close any rifts that remain. Hopefully Chundun's charms will continue to hold. Chundun can be a bit patronizing at times, but he's good at what he does. He's earned his place among us. Anyway, thanks for all your help. I hope you find some answers and maybe even a sacred relic in Solok. Hmm. <laughs> 